All right, guys, it is week three, episode one, and this pocket is from 2023 as well. Um, those of you that are just joining in the challenge, I am kind of doing a best of for the first like couple weeks of the challenge. Um, so yeah, uh, cause it's year five, you know, I was, you know, thinking that, you know, it would be a fun commemorative way to kind of like revisit some of our favorites. Yeah. You know, anyways, so this pocket is made from either one sheet of paper or one sheet of cardstock. Um, I did make it out of cardstock this time. The original one, we made it out of one of Amy's kit papers. Um, so yeah, it works great with either. And so it's basically three. So you have a little one here and we made cute little tags for it last year here. And then there's a side tuck here. And then we can either make it a tall pocket or like make a tall tag for here, or we could use it as a side tuck or we could go the opposite side. Kind of, it, it'll just depend when we get to those, um, uh, journals, like putting them in, like what we kind of feel like, and like when we're making ephemera for it. So what I have is eight and a half by four. Um, of course you can make this a bit wider. You can make them a little bit longer. Um, it's entirely up to you. So anywho, um, it's again, just eight and a half by four is what I'm starting with today. I'm just going to peek the halfway mark. I'm going to go down and kind of fold. I'm going to gently fold that way I can line it up a little bit better. And, um, this is kind of by feel if somebody has a better way of, of doing these, I am all ears because sometimes they get a little, um, wonky, um, kind of making these folds. So, and I was never that mom that could make like perfect airplanes for the kids. I just, I don't know, just not in my wheelhouse for, uh, um, of, uh, knowledge, I guess. Now from here, you can do it a couple of different ways. We could fold up this direction, right? To where all of our colors match all the way around, which in this case, I actually think I'm going to do. Um, with this one, I went behind. And either way, it doesn't, it's not going to matter. It's not going to um, affect your um, thing either way. Um, the reason I did it that way, like brought it behind like this last year was because of the way that the designs were showing. Um, so yeah, like I said, it's that, that part is not important. So to keep the design of the card stock and to hide as much as the white as possible, I'm going this direction. And, um, if you're anything like me, uh, you will probably have to trim a little bit off your pockets, which is not a big deal. Um, just remember to ink the the parts that are so that they're defining, so it, um, you don't lose the dimension of what you're doing. And then we just glue down here, glue these top flaps down, and you can do that before you fold the bottom up. Doesn't really matter. Um, oh. That was strange. Did I not get enough glue on it? Um, you do want these flaps glued down though, because when we go to slide um, something in here, you don't want whatever you're putting in to get caught up on them. All right, so then, um, let's see, I made them all kind of this way. So I'm gonna go like this, and um, this year all of these pockets are gonna be loading on this side. Like I said, if you're like me, you'll have to trim a little bit. Okay, now this next part is pretty important um, and probably self-evident, but only put a little daub there. Last year we used wax seals. We may do that again this year, I'm not sure. Um, it's gonna kind of depend because I still have that stamp kit from Lorna that I wanna use. So um, yeah, we may, we may do a little bit of something else with it. I, I don't know. Like I said, it's all, I try really hard not to get too ahead of myself when it comes to thought processes and this whole, um, thing here, other than getting like the pockets done. Um, I kind of, when it comes to the ephemera, 
I generally don't decide on what kind we're putting in until like the week I'm making them, if that makes sense. Um, because I think sometimes for me, um, I can't speak for anybody else, but for me, I get pigeonhole, like I pigeonhole myself into one specific thing or another. So I try to kind of let um, creativity take its course, if you will. Um, Um, yeah, so it's Sunday, so I'm going to record the three for this week, and possibly Wednesday, I'm going to try to maybe record, like, the next coming week. Um, not sure, we'll just, I'm going to keep recording until later, because um, my sweet little daughter, um, ended up doing a bunch of the chores in the house when she was up this last week. Um, and um, so therefore she freed her mother's schedule up by like three or four hours. Isn't she beautiful? I just love that. She's such a good girl. Um, so yeah, um, so I have a, a few more hours that I can be doing something today. So yeah, um, I'm gonna have to, I got a little nilly willy with the trimmer right before the video. So, oh, oh no, no, no. Gotta, gosh darn it. I should have been paying more attention because now it's going to bubble a little bit. Maybe it won't be so bad. Who am I kidding? It's probably going to be really bad. Oh well. Okay. I think I saved it, but we'll see. I'm in a little bit of a bubble there. Okay, so um, I usually give you a whole lot of life updates in short little videos, right? Okay, so Grace is fine. Um, the person who did that to the kids um, is not in a good way. <laughs> like, I think, I don't think he took it as serious, like what he did as seriously as he should have because um, his actions and uh, the majority of his actions occurred on university property. And as you and I and the rest of the world probably knows, at least in the United States, um, they take that kind of behavior very seriously um, with all the high school um, things and all that that goes on here. Um, and like, it's not something, it's not something that they, they aren't gonna take serious. Um, so, um, yeah, he's, I, I don't think reality is actually set in for him yet. Um, like, in all likelihood, he will never be able to legally own another firearm. So that's, that was interesting. Definitely interesting um, to kind of see how that is going to unfold for him. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I, I think, I think, um, he may have, under normal circumstances, been a pretty decent person, but um, Grace did ask me the other day, she's like, you are oddly calm about this whole thing. Like, the old mom would have been, like, um, livid, right? Like, you would have been the first one at the courtroom when he was arraigned, and, you know, you would have been, like, it, it, I, I don't know. Um, cause I, I mean, I think most of you that have been with me for a while know that like my kids are my world, like, and I guess there was just an overwhelming sense of peace, if you will, 
about the situation like I don't know and maybe that's maybe that's me growing in in my faith I don't know but yeah Grace was just like um like not that it's not appreciated but yeah that it's it's throwing me for a loop a little bit because you're normally the one that is is very reactive to those kind of things so um I don't know maybe your girl's turning over a whole new leaf here I don't know I mean don't get me wrong it still bothers me and I'm still really upset about it right um I guess now I'm just like, my life is so based in faith. Um, and I'm learning how to not, um, I don't want to say, wor worry about the things I can't control, obviously, is kind of just like a, a blanket statement, but um, the outcomes, like worrying about the outcomes. Like I'm, I, um, if you've been with me for any length of time, you know that, um, I've been pretty worried about the kids and, and like their perspective, like moving out. And I think that's kind of normal for moms. Um, but I've really come to a point in my life where, um, I can't waste more of my mom energy on worry. Instead, I'm choosing to focus on the moments we have together. Does that make sense? I don't know. Maybe that's growth. Maybe it's a phase. I don't know. But I think the kids are appreciating it more and more because I think it's affording them some, um, I don't want to say freedom, right? Because they've always kind of had the freedom to make their own decisions, but I don't know. I'm sure you guys could articulate it a little bit better for me. Um, but anyways, okay. So we are actually done with this little pocket and it's adorable. I love it. Like I said, they, these ones were one of my favorites last year too. And so, yeah. All right, guys. Um, I will just see you in the next video. Bye.